Think back to when you were a child and you lost something. How did that make you feel? Well, if you were like me, you were probably upset. Here, this treasured thing that I had, I lost, I wanted it back. And you were probably angry and maybe even cried about the fact that you lost something. This feeling of loss is imprinted on us at an early age. It is something that most of us learn at a subconscious level. Losing is bad. Fast forward to today and people go on a diet to lose weight. Your subconscious mind says, ooh, that's a bad idea. So what happens? You lose the weight, you work hard at it, and then a couple months later, you gain it all back plus more. Your subconscious mind says, I want that weight back because I don't like to lose anything. And just to be sure, I want more back. So you put on an extra few pounds as a result of it. So if you think back to when you're a kid, you were angry and unhappy when you lost something. So we want to start to change the way we think about things. We want to, we want to use a word like, I'm decreasing my weight or I'm obtaining my optimum weight. Now your body says, oh, that's okay. It's okay to decrease your weight. Just don't do this losing thing anymore. We don't like to lose anything. So change the way you think about things and you can change the way your brain and your body responds. The power of words can change, words will change your brain. If you'd like to watch the whole presentation on how words can change your brain, go to my website and sign up for the free class on Change Your Words, Change Your Brain. Words that we use every day have effects on us that we don't even realize.